So it's the 6th of July 2021 and I've regained all the weight that I lost on calorie counting. In fact, I'm heavier than 16 stone, 13 pounds. Um, so here we go again. Going to start again tomorrow, but I'm going to go back. I'm going to do keto again. So it's day one. It's about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. This is my first meal of the day, so kind of brunch. And I thought I would go all out for my first day. So I'm having sausages, bacon, egg, mushrooms, tomatoes. What a start to a diet, eh? Not bad. As a snack, I'm having some peanut butter on some low sugar chocolate. Still a wee cheese string off the kids. For dinner on day one, I thought I'd have one of my favourite meals. This is like my favourite even when I'm not on keto. It's basically creamy Cajun chicken and smoked sausage. So we've got mushrooms, green peppers, a little bit of onion, bacon, chicken bouillon, smoked sausage, chicken, cauliflower rice, butter, cream cheese, Cajun and garlic. This will make quite a few portions though and I really like this the next day for lunch, even just cold. Look what I'm having for dessert. Honestly, the most indulgent, delicious chocolate mousse that I've ever eaten. So far, I'm thinking this is too good to be true. Like, all the food is so indulgent, delicious, and I just think, where's the catch? So it's day two for breakfast. I'm having some 10% fat Greek yogurt and some skinny maple syrup just to sweeten it because I don't really like it on its own. I would usually have some fruit with this, like strawberries or blueberries, but I went and forgot to buy them, so yoghurt it is. For lunch, I'm just having some of my leftover creamy Cajun chicken rice. It's honestly even better the next day, I'm just eating it cold. As a snack, I'm having a Baby Bell cheese and two squares of low sugar chocolate. For dinner tonight, I'm having egg roll in a bowl. So easy to make it. You basically just put it all in the same pan. And this is really good for meal prep and leftovers as well. I couldn't get coleslaw mix, but I got this, which is basically the same ingredients. So carrot, onion and cabbage. But it's also got bean sprouts, so I suppose even more like the filling of an egg roll. And mushrooms as well, which I love mushrooms anyway. I might add some extra cabbage as well. I'll just see how we go. For dessert tonight, I'm going to try and make a chocolate mug cake that I've seen on YouTube. Um, so this is all the ingredients for it and I'll show you how I get on. So this is how it turned out. It doesn't look great, but I put some cream on it and had a taste and honestly, I'm mega impressed with it. It's like a really rich, gooey, indulgent chocolate pudding. Day three and I'm starting to deal off with a coffee. I'm having one of these Americanos and just a wee splash of double cream in it because I don't like black coffee. I meant to say that I added two of these sweeteners as well. So I've just noticed that it's 2pm in the afternoon and I've not eaten yet today. Like that's like never happened to me usually. All I think about is food. But I know that's one of the benefits of being in ketosis is that your appetite is reduced, but I didn't expect already on just day three. But there we go. Uh, maybe the coffee with cream kept me full as well. I'm going to make a cheese and ham salad wrap using one of these low carb tortillas. They're only four grams of net carbs per tortilla and they're honestly just taste the exact same to me. So for dinner tonight, my son has requested that I make potato salad. All my kids absolutely love this. It causes wars in my house. They fight over it. So I thought I would try and make my own one. Just all the same ingredients. I've got their potatoes on, but I'm just going to have cauliflower with mine instead. I must admit, I am not that hopeful. 
Okay, so this is the potato salad. It's actually turned out really well. I've had a taste and it's really nice. I mean, I've seen people online saying, oh, I wouldn't even know that I wasn't eating potatoes. And I definitely wouldn't go that far. Like, you can tell it's cauliflower. But it is still really enjoyable. So I'm just having that with some chicken tenders and some salad. Right, on second thought, I've changed my mind. It's absolutely delicious and I can't stop eating it. And my son, who will not eat a vegetable, he doesn't know what it is. Was that nice? Yeah. Was it as good as... He's the one that loves yeah. it and asked me to make it. Was it as good as potato salad? Yeah. Yeah? Make you that next time? Yeah. It's day four and for breakfast this morning, I'm having some yogurt, skinny syrup and strawberries. For lunch today I'm having some leftover egg roll in a bowl. I was planning on making something totally different but I'm really busy with work so I'm glad that I meal prepped this and had some just to heat up. So I'm having that with a cheese string and some low sugar chocolate. So it's Friday night, I've been working all day, I'm tired, I can't be bothered standing cooking a meal so there's only one thing for it, pizza night. I've made some little pizzas using my low carb wraps. These are four net carbs each, so it is quite a high carb meal, but I'll still be well within my limit. You do get bigger ones of these, there's seven net carbs each, and they're a much better size for a pizza, but I didn't have them, so I've made two of these. So I've just added some passata as a sauce with oregano and garlic, and got ham, mushroom, onion, and spinach, and I'm just going to add the cheese and then get them in the oven. That's the cheese on, ready to go in. You can see that I've went a bit mad with the cheese. Why not? Keep away. Here's the finished pizzas. Dessert tonight, I've made this little individual cheesecake thingy. So it's cheesecake mix at the bottom, what I've made, which is honestly absolutely amazing. And then some strawberries and then some squishy cream. That was insane. It was honestly so good. It just tasted like a normal cheesecake. Pizza and cheesecake, what else could you want, eh? It's one o'clock on Saturday afternoon and I'm about to have my first meal of the day. It's getting later and later before I want to eat, which is odd for me. I'm usually hungry as soon as I wake up and oddly enough craving something sweet as soon as I wake up, but that's completely gone. So I'm going to have an omelette with a creamy mushroom filling and I'm going to add spinach and smoked sausage to it. I did want to have the garlic and herb Philadelphia for this, but I didn't have any, so. So here's the filling for inside the omelette. I ended up adding my own garlic and herbs and some sour cream as well. Okay, so I've made my omelette super fluffy. I've just spooned the mixture onto one half and put some parmesan on top and I'll fold it over. I've just finished that omelette. I'm absolutely stuffed. But I just wanted to say, right... I know it sounds crazy, I'm only on day five, but I swear I can notice a difference already, like, in my size and in clothes and stuff. But I thought, nah, it's just in your head, it's only day five, don't be silly. But then my mum came in today and she, she doesn't even know I've been on a diet, and she took one look at me and she was like, oh my god Sam, look how skinny you look. And she wouldn't have just say that, like, really, she wouldn't. So I'm like, there must actually be a difference in just five days. So I made some keto chocolate fudge and I'm just having a wee square of that as a wee treat. So nice. So since it's Saturday night I thought I would get a wee takeaway. I got a king kebab to share with my son. So I'm just going to take some meat off of this and have it with one of my wraps and give him the rest of it. So here's mine. I cannot wait to eat it. Day six and I've just had a bowl of Greek yogurt and some skinny syrup for breakfast but I forgot to record it. I've ended up coming to Burger King for dinner tonight with my son. Hello. Um, so I've got a cheesy bacon double burger, halloumi fries which was so good to do that and a Coke Zero. So Cameron's just got a chocolate hazelnut crispy cream not jealous at all and i'm making do with this chocolate hazelnut for fill bar same thing on it so it's 9 p.m and like i was saying i've got so much more energy already usually i'd be in my bed by this time but we're out of your walk and look how beautiful this is
So today's day seven. I can't believe that it's been a week already. This morning for breakfast, I made some of these truffles and I'm just going to have one of them with some sausage and bacon. Right, so I changed my mind. I'm going to have two. <laughs> Six. I've just fed the kids but I'm still really not hungry for dinner um, and all I've had is my breakfast. I'm like who is this person? Usually I think about food all day. Um, so I'm just having some chicken bouillon to get some electrolytes in and I'll maybe get something later. So this is what I'm having for dinner on day seven. It's a chicken and chorizo rice dish but using cauliflower rice obviously. It's, I really like this meal because it's so quick and easy, it takes like 10-15 minutes start to finish and it's a one pan meal so hardly any washing up. So today is day 8 which means my first week is complete, I'm just about to go weigh myself for the first time. I'm not sure what to expect because even though I do feel like I've lost weight, I've ate like an absolute king all week, like all my food's been delicious, there's not been any point where I've been hungry or felt like I was missing out or even felt like I was on a diet so Part of me is thinking oh, it can't be that easy, but we'll see. I should say for reference, today is the 13th of July and it's day 8 and I'm about to weigh myself for the first time. Shut up, I can't believe it. So I've just weighed myself after week one and I've lost 14 pounds. A full stone in a week, a full stone. Now I know that a lot of that's going to be water weight, right? But for reference, I was calorie counting for five months and exercising and only lost 10 pounds in that full time. And then as soon as I ate badly, I put it all back on. So I'm assuming that that 10 pounds was just water weight as well. But with this, I've lost 14 pounds in one week. What is this magic? And the benefits aside from weight loss have been amazing as well, like more energy, I swear my skin's better already and for the first time ever in my life I feel in control like of food, I eat when I'm hungry, I don't eat when I'm not hungry, I have never been capable of that, I'm usually snacking all the time, thinking about food, sitting eating chocolate and all that even when I'm not hungry, so this is, I, I just hope I can stick to this and continue because it's amazing so far, so roll on week two.